मैसेल कुंडलिक पाटिल फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग गेवला नाउ इन टूडे लेक्चर वी हैव टू सी अवर फ्रिक्शन इन अवर ट्रैवलॉजी सो बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज मीन बाय फ्रिक्शन वी हैव टू सी वी आर ऑलवेज फैमिलियर फैमिलियर विद दिस फ्रिक्शन ओके because in daily life we are observing many example of this frictions so first of all what is friction so friction is a force that opposes the motion between the two surfaces okay so it is a friction is a force which opposes the motion means it opposes the motion to the object so we can define it as friction can be defined as the resistance to the relative tangential motion between the solid bodies or surfaces in contact with each other so the normal load is always proportional to the frictional force so this is the develop the first law <coughs> the frictional force is always act in the direction opposite to the motion so this friction is develop when when an attempt is made to initiate the motions means when we apply the force to any bodies there is a existence of friction or doing the motions so considering the few exceptions friction is considered as desirable or undesirable okay so since the large amount of energy is produced in the world are always consumed during the frictions so there is a very major frictional losses are takes place and due to these frictions wear of the bodies or the contacting surface are takes place and the machine elements gets held so to reduce the wear by controlling the friction by proper lubrication we can minimize this losses okay so friction is the force act when two objects are rubbed together means when you are rubbing there is also friction when the two objects are going to be smooth there is less friction and when the two objects are rubbed there is a greater amount of friction so here you have to see either the friction is desirable or not desirable so friction is desirable for walking sitting in chairs friction is also desirable to stand on our feet on the grounds and without frictions we cannot be able to stand up when we riding the bikes and press the brakes friction is takes place and this frictions help to slow your bike down so here friction is desirable again another example of this friction desirable friction is when we ride on a board chalk chalk and board these two contacting surfaces are required the frictions so how to classify these frictions first of all how to classify this friction there are two relative kind of motions in our general practices first one is sliding and other one is rolling motions so on the basis of these two rolling motion and sliding motion we have to be classify the various types of friction and in this during the sliding motion sliding friction is observed and during the rolling motion rolling friction is observed and how the friction is takes place so you see here there is a aspirated contact suppose this is the first surface this is another surface and there is a contact this aspirated contacts so 
if the aspirity contacts are more then the friction is more and if the aspirities are less then the friction is also less so in static frictional force when there is no nothing is sliding and sliding frictional force there is a sliding friction when surfaces are sliding and in this static frictional force is always greater than this sliding frictional forces so how to measure this frictions so we have to measure this frictions by various measurements we are having some measurement methods to measure the frictions we have to come across in our next lecture so the unit of this for friction is always we have to measure in newtons is the friction force and how to investigate this frictions so we are preparing some questionnaires how will this help to understand the frictions and under it may be desirable or undesirable how could we carry out our experiment what equipment might we use how we ensure a test is fair which are the variable can we change so that the friction is get measured properly and how could we measure the results so in this frictions we have to learn about the some laws laws of frictions measurement of the frictions okay and some laws which are developed by the scientist among the coulombs or newton you do see now so the behavior of the friction is always based on this laws so for the understanding this frictions consider the two bodies one is rolling on the surface flat surface and the body is rolling we are applying the force pushing it at the same time the normal load acts and it resist the motions and during this we observe this frictions so how we can classify the frictions okay so kind of frictions there are various kind of friction depending on the pressure presence and absence of this lubricating film between the contacting surfaces dry frictions boundary frictions fluid frictions and mixed or semi fluid frictions so these are another classification of these frictions so between it the fluid frictions hydrostatic or hydrodynamic lubrication in general veins okay she can see probably by the oil film pressure example of mix or same fluid friction is boundary lubrications okay or a oil stir wherein in which the rubbing surface are separated partly by viscous film or the bearing with drop feed lubrications or weak feed oilers okay there are the example of this mix lubrications and under this boundary lubrications or boundary frictions the example of this boundary frictions are the starting or stopping of the general bearings rubbing surfaces in case of piston and piston ring cross head machine tool guides friction between the gear teeth and friction in power screws okay by the example we can see the example for this dry friction of brake shoes applied on the rotating train wheel or locomotive wheel or friction between the grinding wheel and metallic work piece so these are some, the, some introduction about these frictions classifications how it creates what are the effect of this friction either desired favorable or non favorable we are seeing this in this lecture 
so in this next lecture we will see the law of friction and measurement of these frictions okay thank you